Hi, I'm Robert. I'm a Senior Product Manager in the Windows team in Microsoft UK, and we're really excited about the launch of Windows 10. Windows 10 is going to make users of Windows 7 and Windows 8 feel like experts from the outset, and it's going to be available for everybody as a free upgrade. And why we think this is going to be the best version of Windows ever is we've been working with Windows insiders around the world, about five million of them for the last nine months, giving us feedback to make this the best version of Windows ever. So Windows 10 is going to work across a range of devices, from phones to tablets, desktops, and all-in-ones. So when most people are using it on a traditional laptop or desktop PC, the great news is, is that the Start menu is back. And that's going to feel really familiar to users of old versions of Windows. So you can see here I've got my power and settings, I've got my most used applications, and I can quickly navigate across all my applications. And the Task menu is there, so I can pin the applications that I use most to the desktop. Uh, and this really is going to feel like the familiar Windows desktop. So Cortana is the personal digital assistant that comes to Windows 10 desktop for the first time. The name is actually a character out of Halo. And Cortana is going to allow me to get a lot done and assist me across my PC. So she can do basic searches. So if I'm looking for a presentation, I can just type presentation uh, and she'll search all of my stuff across my cloud PC, my cloud storage, or this PC. But I can actually control Cortana even by voice. So I can say, hey Cortana, next time I go to Sainsbury's, remind me to buy some milk. I can remind you to buy some milk when you get to Sainsbury's. Cortana is aware of where all the Sainsbury's are, so whenever I happen to be near a Sainsbury's, that reminder might pop up on my phone, my PC, even my Microsoft Band, allowing me to not forget to buy the milk. Cortana can even do simple tasks for me. So say I'm working on a document, I remember I need to send somebody an email, I can say, hey Cortana, send an email to my wife saying I'll be home late. Here's your email, send it, add a subject, or make changes. And that email sent, and I can keep doing what I'm doing. So Microsoft Edge is a brand new browser for Windows 10. It's got some great features to allow people to do more on the web and kind of turn browsing into doing. So I'll give you some examples. This is a website that I want to read the content, but as you can see, as typical with a lot of websites, it's got adverts and up next and so forth. But if I click this reading mode button, it strips all that away and allows me to just get to the content, the pictures and the text that I want to see. Now let's say I haven't got time to read that now. I can quickly add it to my reading list and it'll capture and bookmark that site for me and allow it to read it later, even if I'm not connected to the internet. Now, very often we're browsing online and we might want to share information and make notes to people. So rather than having to copy links and paste those into emails with some text, we've got some great new features in Microsoft Edge. So I've got this markup mode. Now, if I'm lucky enough to have a touch device or one even with a pen, let's say I'm shopping on the website here looking for a new device and I literally want to make a note on the website. So I can literally just draw on the screen and I can say, wow, this is a great device and I can simply share that via email with people that I'm doing this research with. And lastly, say I'm browsing the web and I want a little bit more information. So I might be um, browsing the web and I want a little bit more information, for example, on Windows 10. And all I have to do is highlight Windows 10 and ask Cortana. And she'll pop up with a, uh, a sidebar so it doesn't take me away from the page that I'm on with more information on that. Windows 10 works great across a range of devices from tablets to laptops to desktop PCs and particularly great on these two-in-ones. So in a normal mode, you can see here I've got the traditional desktop and everything running with keyboard and mouse in Windows. But if I've got a two-in-one and I switch mode to a tablet mode, everything goes full screen automatically allowing me to control it really easily with touch and that'll switch back again as soon as I go to desktop mode. Windows 10 is great for gaming. It has DX12, which is going to make PC gaming even more immersive with better graphics than ever before. But we also bring Xbox Live to the PC with Windows 10 as well. And this is going to allow Xbox One gamers and PC gamers to play games together. It also allows me to bring all my Xbox Live friends to my Windows 10 environment and see what games people are playing, the achievements, and to contact them on social so that I can game with them. As well as that, it allows me to capture my PC gaming through DVR capabilities built in to share with my friends, and I can even stream my Xbox One games to my Windows 10 PC. So if somebody else is using the TV connected to the Xbox One, I can take my, my Windows 10 PC somewhere else, connect up my joypad, and actually stream the game from my Xbox One to my Windows 10 PC. Windows 10 is, of course, Windows, which means it's compatible with all your existing software and accessories. But Windows 10 is going to feel faster and it's more secure. It comes with a great range of applications out of the box, 
such as uh, mail, photo, calendar, has an app store built in so you can go and get hundreds of thousands of apps and it'll run traditional Windows software such as Office as well. For Windows 7 and 8 users who upgrade in the first year, Windows 10 is a free upgrade. For more information, see curries.co.uk slash Windows 10. My name's Robert, this has been the first look at Windows 10. Thank you for watching.